we have learned how to do the order of operations and how to create and simplify numerical expressions. And now we're going to be working on comparing numerical expressions. So to begin with, this is less than, this is greater than, and this is equal to. And we learn that the larger, op that the opening goes to the larger number, okay, if we're comparing two different expressions. That's just for our future reference. So. I'm going to give you a couple examples on what I mean, and we'll get through that. So my first example, 284 plus 910 divided by 30. I'm gonna put a greater than, equal to, or less than in there. 284 plus 7,816 divided by 30. Which one's bigger? Well, I can make a guess that this one will be bigger before I even do it because they both start with 284 and they're both going to be divided by 30. But this one is only added 900 and that one is, is added almost 8,000. But we are going to solve this together. So this is 1194 divided by 30. This is 8100 divided by 30. So I can actually see that this is going to be a larger number because I start with a larger number. And I can do that without even solving it the rest of the way. Because if I start with a larger number and I divide it by 30, I'm going to have more pieces than if I start with a lower number and divide it by 30. The next one Oops, there's not a When we have a fraction that is multiplied, it is actually telling you this is one third of this number. So this answer is going to be only one third of that problem. This one is going to be, let's see, five, three, six, six, minus 17. Let's go next door. So this is 5,349. So this one is actually going to be one third of 5,349. So it is going to be smaller than 5,349 because there's only going to be a chunk of that because of the fraction. And one more.
613 plus. So 613 plus 15,090 is greater than, less than, or equal to 613 plus 15,090. So this answer, let's find what this is. 15,090, 15,090 plus 613, 613. So this is 15,703 divided by 4. And this is 15,703. I still have to divide this into 4 pieces. This one is staying this number. So if I'm dividing this number by 4 pieces, and this number is staying the same, the number that is staying the same is going to be larger because I'm not dividing anything up. So I don't even have to go and finish solving it because of that rule. Now, if I wanted to double check it, I could. Four goes into 15, three times. And we haven't done division yet, so that's why I'm showing you this trick. and then there will be three left over. So see how that number is smaller than or less than that number. And I didn't even have to do the math completely to know that. And that is because this number is being divided into four and this number is staying the same. So the number that is not divided stays the same and it is larger. So Ms. Serta is going to show you a bunch more examples, and she is going to give you a couple to do on your own.